Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. So income tax, we have seen the introduction chapter first one and also income from salaries. Now we are entering into the third chapter that is income from house property. Do not worry, it is easy subject, easy chapter. Only few things you have to remember. I will condense the entire chapter and I will squeeze it, I will give you in a lucid form. You can just easily grab this chapter. Now coming to the income from house property, you know that when we have house, when we have building, when we have any property, so which is permanent on the earth, so that kind of building, from that building we can earn income in two ways. One is by letting the house, means giving it for rent purpose, another one is by selling. Whenever we are uh, letting for rent purpose, then only we can say it as a income from house, okay, income from house property. If you are selling, it is not income, it comes under another way. So it attracts in another way the tax, but right now you remember income from house property means whenever you are letting any building or house for rent purpose, whatever income you are getting on that we are supposed to pay the tax that is income from house property. What is the income you are getting? See, yeah, I am getting income of uh, every year 1 lakh rupee on particular building uh, in the form of rent. Then I have to pay tax on that 1 lakh rupee. This is income from house property. Few things we have to remember. Okay, So that few things in a condensed manner I am going to say. So right now, did you understand what is income from house property? Income from house property means whenever you are giving any house on rent basis, whatever income we get, on that we have to pay the tax. That is income from house property. When we are selling, it is not allowed as income from house. That is not income. That is gain. Capital gain it comes. We will discuss that later. Now right now, you remember this much only. Now when we have a house, we can use the house in three ways. Three ways we can use the out. What are the three ways is here. Use of house. One is let out. Let out means giving it on rent basis. So there you are going to get income. So that income is we call it as income from house property. Okay. And second one is that owner's residence. I have house, I have building, but I am using for my sake, for my personal purpose. That is owner's residence. That won't be considered as income from house property. There is no income. I am using it. When I am using it, there is no income. So this doesn't, this doesn't comes under the income from house property. And third one is that for professional or business purpose. If you are using your own house for professional or business purpose, if you are using your own house, then it is also not comes under the income from house property. Same house, if you are giving for others for professional or business purpose, means it is rent. When you are giving for others, then it is income. That comes under the income from house property. If you are using it, it is not. Am I clear? Now about this income from house property, everything is explained very clearly as per the Income Tax Act 1961, Section 22 to 27. Please remember these sections. Between these sections, Section 22 to 27 only, it has clearly mentioned about this income from house property. Okay, so if you have a house, we have three ways to use. One is let out, owner's residence, purpose and for professional and business purpose. If owner is using for his personal, then it is not income from house property. If he is letting the house for professional, in the sense suppose say he has given the house for chartered accountant or uh, for any uh, doctor clinic or any shop or any office, then it is income from house property. If suppose if owner is using as a lawyer, he is using his house for office purpose. As a lawyer, as a chartered accountant, okay, as a doctor clinic, if something is opened by owner, then it is not 
income from house property if it is given for someone means getting income so then it is chargeable that comes under the income from house property am i clear about this so this is the basic information you must know then after that you must remember important thing that is conditions of income from house property how do we treat it as income from house property for that three conditions are there what are those three conditions the first one is that the property must consist of any building or land so property must be consist of any building or land which is related to building or which is related to building so the property must be building or land physically something is available on the land a building then we consider it as house land building okay now here two things you must remember first thing is that roof if any house is there building is there for that roof is needed no roof only structure is available and it is not in a position to use then that won't be considered as a building remember roof is must second thing is that sometimes roof may not be required without roof also you can give a particular property for rent for example swimming pool indoor stadium okay such kind of things roof is not required but it is property it is giving for rent purpose so that is also we can consider two things please remember this the property must consist of any building building in the sense it must have roof if no roof it can be used like swimming pool or any any kind of building or indoor stadium or open place for playgrounds so that is also we consider it as property no roof but we consider it so this is the main important thing so that is the first point is that the property must consist of any building or land which is related to the building second thing is the assessee must be the owner of the property assessee must be in the sense assessee who is the assessee the person who has to pay the tax he must be the owner of the property he must be the owner of the property if he is not owner whatever income he is getting but still we don't consider it as income from house property but he must be owner there are few conditions few points you have to discuss related to the assessee must be owner of the property first thing is that freehold rights freehold right means he is having absolute rights as a owner then definitely whatever income he is earning in the form of rent it is taxable freehold rights means maybe he purchased a house land building so this is one way another one is maybe he got a gift from someone so that is also gift as a gift he got a building so that is also having freehold rights we can say or from ancestors property so if he is getting any ancestors property that is also we can say freehold rights anyway in any of these three cases he is having the full rights on the building on this building if he is getting any rent that is we consider it as income from house property second thing remember leasehold rights leasehold rights means suppose a person who has given house on long grand rent purpose means that is we call it as a lease are you getting it if i am giving my building or land or something on long run basis that is called as lease so on lease also what are the conditions let let me explain through an example now suppose a is there a is having a building and that is given to b on lease basis for 20 years 20 years is a long period so 20 years means that we call it as a lease only not rent rent is yearly so on 20 years basis he has given to be for rent purpose and on this every year he is getting income of suppose say uh, 5 lakh annual rent a is receiving from b okay a is getting rent from b 5 lakh rupees okay so this in this case we can say leasehold rights a is giving this house to the land or something to b so b is temporarily taken this house for 20 years 
if he is stay if he has taken for 20 years if he goes for construction if he has gone for any construction and after construction if b is giving to c for rent purpose after construction b is giving house to c for rent rent purpose means this is sublet a is owner b is tenant tenant okay but he is giving the house after construction please remember this point after construction he has given to the c for rent purpose once again and from c he is earning monthly say 50000 50000 then what is the position of income from house property remember this it's a little bit confusing case but let me tell you very clearly now a is owner from b he is getting income of 5 lakh rupee 5 lakh rupee this is first case means a is is amount 5 lakh is taxable this is taxable because a is getting 5 lakh rupees yearly that is income from house property so a has to pay tax on 5 lakh rupee this is one condition now when it comes to the second case b is here he has gone for construction and gave the house for rent purpose to c now how much he is getting 50000 b is getting rent of 50000 per month so on 50000 also second case b is also has to pay t tax on 50000 here on 5 lakh a has to pay and 50000 b has to pay tax house from income from house tax because he has gone for construction if this construction is not there we won't be consider it as tax are you getting this this point you must remember so this case is related to the leasehold rights this is the example given to the leasehold rights and if he is having full rights owner i am owner i don't have any doubts at all i'm having the house property papers i am the right owner and i am giving my house for rent purpose then whatever rent i get on that i have to pay the tax and in the case of leasehold rights this is the case remember if a person has taken on leasehold basis rent so whatever rent he is paying on that the receivable person means owner owner has to pay the tax that is income from house property and sublet this is the case remember sublet is possible when he has gone for any construction and gave it for rent purpose okay so this is about the leasehold rights now last point is that deemed ownership deemed ownership means actually he is not owner he is not owner he is not a owner but he is enjoying all the rights of owner means the property he is enjoying property he is rent uh, he is lending for rent and he is enjoying the rent and he is doing any construction and uh, repairs everything just like a owner when the person is enjoying a particular property then we can call him as deemed ownership deemed ownership when he started enjoying the uh, rent income then he is tax he has to pay the tax so whatever income he gets on that he has to pay the tax as the income from house property am i clear these three points remember conditions of income from house property the first one is that the property must consist of any building or land okay which is related to the building here we have discussed two points one is roof without roof okay second one is the assessee must be the owner of the property must be owner two cases freehold rights leasehold rights okay leasehold rights is this example i have given deemed ownership means he is the he is not the owner but still he enjoys everything all the income then he is liable to pay the tax on the income earned from the property and here a few more things you have to remember there are some exemptions exempted house property income few cases there is an exemption is given from income from house property what are those cases means the first one is that agriculture income when we have discussed about agriculture income there i have told you it is totally exempted agri agriculture income so this is the first point second one is that charitable religious purpose when you are giving any house so that is also 
not comes under the income from house property because it is charitable means no income and registered trade unions for any registered trade unions if you are giving any house also that is not also income from house property and income from hospital education institutions so this and income from property of scientific research and association scientific research purpose if you are giving any house for rent purpose but though you are getting income so it is exempted another one is income from house property of a political party hospital education institution scientific research is okay but i don't know why they have they have given this house property for political party so this is also exempted so only in these cases there is an exemption from the income from house property okay am i clear take a screenshot or note down so we have discussed about income from house property am i clear the introduction part today we have discussed the basic things that is uh, use of houses how we can use the house when when it is taxable and also conditions of the income from house property these are the three conditions second condition please remember the rest of the two is okay clear and exempted house property income from house property these are the three things we have discussed now remember in the coming classes second uh, tomorrow class will be a little bit information about uh, this short notes and also short forms that will be discussing that is very much needed then after that we'll work out the direct problems from income from house property so please stay connected there are many subjects which already covered in our channel check out the playlist and also check out the description box please use it and don't forget to forward this videos stay connected have a bright career good luck